What's up guys? Bobby here. And in this video, uh, I'm going to attempt to do my first tutorial. And in this tutorial, I will show you how to put PS1 games under this thing right here, your PSP. Now since I'm a huge fan of Castlevania, I'm going to show you how to put Castlevania Chronicles under your PSP. I would I would have done Symphony of the Night, but I just can't find a valid Q file to use, so I'm stuck with Castlevania Chronicles, which still is a great game. All the Castlevania series are are really good. Um, but uh, in this process, I mean, there's already videos on YouTube uh, that's been on there for years now that go over this. So most of you already know how to do this. But I thought I'd give it a shot and throw out my version of it, and um, I can't really get into great detail uh, in this process because of time. But I will have uh, all the links under the description that you need to do this, and hopefully uh, it'd be kind of educational for you guys. Um, but anyway, uh, uh, check it out. First of all, the, the programs I use are these two programs here, uh, the Gold Wave and the Pop Station. Now the Gold Wave is, a pro, is an audio program which I will use uh, to turn such WAV files as the one I've here into an AT3 file. Now, an AT3 file you will have to download and it is required by the PSP to be played. Okay, so you have to download that. I'm sorry. The pop station. Uh, now, this right here, this is what will create an e boot for you, and I will get into this later. But that's that program, and it's also in the description. Now, the, these pictures here I had Googled. Uh, you have to resize these pictures if you want to customize your eboot. Um, say for instance, uh, I got a thumbnail picture, I have a background image, and a game boot uh, icon picture. And each one of these, well, this one will be 44 by 80, and these two 480 by 272. Okay, and I have my WAV file here, which will later be uh, converted to an AT3. Now, um, I have it under the description on where to get ROMs, uh, ROM Hustler, Emmy Paradise, uh, you can go to Cool ROMs, Dope ROMs, or whatever, but once you've uh, downloaded a ROM, they will, they will be placed in the download section, and it will like this right here. Now you will have to extract this um, using WinRAR or 7-Zip or whatever you want to use, whatever you have. But I have WinRAR under the description if you want to uh, download it. And how you extract it is you just right click, you go to extract the files. This window will pop up and then you just pretty much just select the de destination on where you want it to extract to. I want it to extract to uh, say my desktop. So I hit OK and it will extract. Wait a few seconds. Okay. All right, there we go. Now we have these two files right here. You have called a bin file. Okay. And you have a Q file. Now you're going to use the Q file. I will show you that. I will get into that later also. But since, okay, I've got my pictures. I got them all resized. And Oh, and another thing. Before you go through all this, make sure you're running custom firmware on your PSP, okay? Um, I'm running 620 Pro. I uh, had no problems out of it so far. So, you know, it's working great. So, uh, yeah, make sure you're running custom firmware. And like I said, these pictures here have to be resized. On, and how you do that is you just right click, you go to edit. 
uh, you click on resize I just want to do is click on pixels and make sure that this is unchecked okay but you cannot change these uh, what you want to do is swipe it right click and swipe backspace and just resize it since I already got it resized I don't have to really do anything else but the same way with this one you just swipe it right click and swipe and change it to whatever okay <clears throat> but anyway these two pictures this is going to be I'm, I'm going to use this as my background image and it's going to be 480 by 272 okay um, this picture my game boot picture it's going to be the same size as my background image it's going to be 480 by 272 also and what the game boot picture is is um, when you run the PlayStation 1 game on your PSP when you hit X to, to run the program a Sony icon will appear so instead of that Sony icon appearing I'm going to put this in place of that you don't have to if you want to but like I said I, I like to customize mine so yeah but, okay let's go ahead and change this to an AT3 uh, we'll use go wave we'll open her up and uh, you go to open and what you do you'll, you'll find where, where that uh, where you had saved it to like mine's on the desktop so I will go to desktop and bam there it is right there you want to open click, double click let it load up uh, I've pretty much done everything I've sized it down I've faded in I faded out um, what you want to do uh, in creating this file you don't want to make it over 500 kilobytes okay I usually make mine 50 to 55 seconds long okay um, but, but once you get it sized down you go to uh, save as now right here make sure that you have have it selected right here as a wave right here okay then you go down here to attribute now if you had now there's quite a few of them here quite a few as you can see but if, if you had uh, downloaded the uh, AT3 audio codec correctly you'll scroll all the way to the bottom and you have these three here now depending on the quality of the sound that you want uh, you can pick anywhere from 66 to 132 of course the higher the number the better the quality uh, since I've made mine 50 to 55 seconds long see 66 is what I'm going to have to use if I go any higher than that 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 will make my file over 500 kilobytes long which you do not want it will not work I don't know why but you can make yours say 30 seconds long or whatever then you could most likely go to 105 to 132 and you'd be okay but really to tell you the truth you can't tell the difference in quality you know so I, I, I just go with 66 okay you go with save okay and I'll save okay now as you can see right here it still says wave at the end what you want to do is right click you want to go to rename get rid of the WAV at the end alright and in place of that you want to type in A T 3 right click says, are you sure you want to change it you click yes and notice how it changes right here it says wave you hit click yes you see how it changed that now in order to do what I just did you have to go to uh, section the music section go to organize if you window, run in Windows 7 go to folder and search options go to view scroll down and right here where it says hide extensions for known file types you have to make sure that is unchecked okay and in order to do what I just did in order to change that to an AG3 okay alright okay I'm gonna create a folder here a little more organized I'm gonna name it of course Castlevania 
Okay. And man, misspelled it. Sorry. Sorry about that. Okay. Now we won't take we won't take all these. them in, in our folder here which it didn't work why I don't know okay there we go all right now we have all of our things here and we're ready to go I'm gonna open up my uh, pop station okay we're on up here okay and you can see it just pretty much automatically just filled in by itself. I hate when it does that, but if it doesn't do that, you would hit browse right here. Cause this is where your ISO is going to go right here. Your ROM, you hit uh, the browse folder, and then it will take you to these two files here. Now, like I said, you're going to use the Q file. Okay, so you click on that. And like I said, these two lines right here will automatically be filled in for you. You don't have to worry about that. Now, if you don't want to customize your eBoot, then you can just minimize that. And just you can just go down here, click Go, and it will start converting the eBoot. But since I like to uh, customize mine, I open this up. Now, right here it says the thumbnail icon, 144 by 80. Okay, I'm gonna, I'm gonna click on my browse folder, and this this is the one I said I was gonna use as my uh, thumbnail. As you can see, it says 144 by 80. I'm gonna click on it, and voila, it fills in right here, the top line. Now your third line, notice it says the background image, 480 by 272. Okay, click your browse folder. This is the one I said I was going to use as my background image. It's going to be 480 by 272. Double click on it. And bam. It's built in right here. Okay. Now your fifth line. Notice what is it? Notice what is it? It says. It says the sound which is played when the icon is highlighted. Now that's that AT3 file that I showed you. Click on the browse folder and there it is double click and it's building right here on the fifth line now lastly right here the game boot warning image 480 by 272 and like I said this picture will uh, replace the Sony icon that will show up once you uh, hit X and start running the program Okay, double click it and that's it uh, now you will hit go now wait a few seconds and as you notice it says here converting to eboot so it will take a few seconds okay okay now the uh, once it's complete, it says conversion done. Now you can either hit yes or no. You hit no and manually do it yourself. But since I got my PSP already hooked up, I'm gonna let this play, uh, pop station do it for me. So I'm gonna hit yes, and this will this will pop up. It says select PSP drive, and there's my PSP right there. Now you want to hit OK. And that's all there is to it, guys. Um, it'll start loading up onto your PSP by itself. And once it's done, uh, and you can go into your PSP and play it. And now I will show you uh, what it looks like on my uh, PSP.
background image of my song that I put to it and and there's the game boot icon right there pretty cool